Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners, and in this video, we'll look at how to create classes in our HTML documents and then manipulate them using CSS. To begin with, let's quickly talk about what a class actually is. A class is an HTML attribute which, when applied to an element, allows us to select and manipulate that element using either CSS or JavaScript. The same class can be applied to multiple elements, allowing us to select and manipulate multiple elements all at once. So why would you want to use a class? In my example here, I've got a header section which contains an h1 element, followed by three paragraph elements. If I wanted to change the text color of my first paragraph, for example, I could apply an inline style attribute in my HTML document and set its value to color red. So here, inside the opening p tag for my first paragraph, I'll give it an attribute of style, followed by the equals sign, a pair of quotes, and a value of color red. If we preview this in the browser, we can see that the first paragraph is now red. While this technique achieves the desired result, the main problem with it is that the style is not reusable. If we also wanted to change the color of our third paragraph to red, we'd need to copy this style attribute, so I'll copy all of this here, and paste it into our third paragraph element. Later, if we decided that we wanted these paragraphs to be blue instead of red, we'd need to go into our HTML document and update each instance of the style attribute from red to blue. While this isn't a big problem when there are only two or three instances to update, it can become a real headache when you have dozens of elements that need to be changed. The solution to this is using classes. Once a class attribute is defined in our HTML document, the CSS styling is handled in a separate CSS stylesheet. If you use the class on multiple elements, you only need to update the style once in the stylesheet and all of the relevant HTML elements will be affected. So, now we know why classes have an advantage over using inline style attributes, let's look at how to create them. To begin with, I'll delete my two inline style attributes from these paragraphs here. And if we look in the browser, we can see that all of the paragraphs have now returned to the default black text color. To define our class, let's click inside the opening p tag, just as we did earlier when defining the inline style attribute. Next, we'll enter a space, type the word class, again followed by the equal symbol and a pair of quotes. Inside our quotes, we provide the class name. This can be anything you choose, but it's sensible to give your classes names that make sense both to yourself and to anybody else who might need to view or edit your code in the future. Just be aware that your class names cannot contain any spaces. So in this instance, I'm going to set my class name to paragraph dash style. You don't need to use a dash, but that's something I tend to do if my class names contain multiple words. Having defined our new class, let's take a quick look in the browser. As we can see, nothing has changed. Although our class has been created, it won't actually do anything until we manipulate it with CSS. In order to manipulate our class with CSS, we first need to target it. So over here in my CSS style sheet, which I've already linked to my HTML document using this link element up here in the head, I'll target my paragraph style class using the CSS class selector. To use a class selector, we need to type a dot or period followed directly by the class name. So here in my CSS, I've typed a dot and I'm going to follow it with the class name of paragraph-style. Next, as with any other CSS selector, I'll type a pair of curly braces 
inside which we apply our styles. So in here, inside the curly braces, I'll type color red. Looking in the browser, we can see that our first paragraph is now red. This is because we've given our first paragraph a class of paragraph style, and then in our CSS, we've targeted the class paragraph style, and we've set its color to red. So instead of typing our style attribute in line here, we've given it a class and the styling is applied here in our CSS style sheet. As in the earlier example, if we also wanted our third paragraph to be red, we'd simply need to give it the same class name in our HTML. So here inside the opening p tag of our third paragraph element, I'll again type class equals and type the same class name of paragraph dash style. As we can see in the browser, both our first and third paragraphs are now red. If we decided that we wanted to change the color from red to blue, all we'd need to do is update the color once over in our CSS style sheet. So let's change this color value from red to blue. And every instance of that class will be updated. Both the paragraphs have now changed to blue instead of red. So just to demonstrate the power of this, let's add in some more paragraphs. Below my third paragraph here in my HTML, I'll create a new paragraph element and say this is another paragraph. I'll just copy this and paste it in a few more times below. I'll also copy my class attribute here from the third paragraph and just paste this in at random to a few more of these elements. If we look in the browser, we can see that all of the paragraphs with our class of paragraph style are blue, while the others remain as the default black. If we changed our mind again and wanted to go back to red, we just need to update our CSS once more from blue back to red, and all of the targeted elements would be updated together. I hope this helps demonstrate how much quicker and easier it is to use classes as opposed to using inline styling, where you have to update each instance one at a time. Next, I'd quickly like to demonstrate how to combine multiple CSS properties on a single class. In our example so far, we've only used a single CSS property, the color property. So in addition to making our text red, we may also want to make it bold. To do this, we'd simply add another line underneath our color property and use the font weight property with a value of bold. Now, if we look in the browser, we'll see that all of the elements with our class name are both red and bold. Just to go one step further, we could add a third line in our CSS to increase the font size to say 25 pixels. We've now used a single class name to affect multiple elements with multiple CSS properties all at once. Finally, I want to talk briefly about combining multiple classes. For this example, let's go straight into our CSS style sheet and target a new class. So we first type a dot or period, followed by a new class name of paragraph-bg short for background. Inside the curly braces, let's set the background color property to light gray. Now, if we give our second HTML paragraph element a class attribute and give it a value equal to our brand new class name of paragraph-bg, its background color will change to light gray. As we can see here, our second paragraph now has a light gray background because it has our paragraph-bg class, which over in our CSS has a background color of light gray. As we can see from this example, individual classes can be used on separate HTML elements so that different styles are applied to different elements. In addition to this, 
multiple classes can be applied to a single element so that different styles are combined. Let's select this paragraph here towards the bottom of our HTML, which already has the paragraph style class applied to it. To add a second class, we simply type a space after the first class name and then type the second class name. So here after my space, I'll also enter the class name of paragraph-bg. Now, if we look in the browser, because this particular paragraph has both classes on it, both of the styles have been applied. It has large, bold, red text because of the first class over a light gray background because of the second class. You can take this even further, combining as many classes as you like, simply by separating each class name value in your HTML with a space. I think that just about covers the basics of how to create HTML classes and then manipulate them using CSS. We've looked at the advantages of reusable classes over inline styling, how to define classes in our HTML, how to affect them with CSS, and then how to combine multiple classes to affect individual elements. Classes may be simple to use, but they are a powerful and invaluable tool for front-end developers. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.